Hi guys, so if you watched my most recent video, it was about the best beauty products that I have in my collection. Um, I had this exact makeup on, and so this is usually just my everyday foundation routine, um, and it was requested by XO Hardcore, so thank you very much for requesting it. So I'm just going to show you just how I did the foundation. Now if you want to know how I did the eyes and what lip color I'm wearing, then please go to my next video which will be uploaded very soon. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Okay, so firstly, because I do have dry skin, well, it gets pretty dry in certain times of the year, um, I do normally start with a moisturizer as my primer rather than a silicone based primer or a primer like this one, which I do really like, this one by Makeup Forever. Um, but I'll usually start with a moisturizer just because I need that extra moisture. And so there's a couple moisturizers that I'll use. This one by event is when my skin is feeling really dry. This is the moisturizer that, moisturizer that I use every night but sometimes I'll just have to use it under my makeup um, because my skin will just be too dry and it's the Extremely Rich Compensating Cream. It's really good but under makeup I don't completely recommend it because it is very moisturizing and it's quite emollient so it can kind of rub the makeup off throughout the day so it won't last as long but it gives me the moisture that I need. One that again is quite oily so it's not great under makeup, but it's still, it gives you that moisture that you need, but not as much moisture as the event, is Oilatum, and this is a natural repair face cream. You can get these in boots basically anywhere, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, um, here in the UK anyways. Um, again, I'll use this when my skin is feeling dry, very dry, but not as dry as it can be. Um, one that I really, really like under my makeup, and I know a lot of makeup artists use, so you guys probably have heard of it, is my Embrolisse Le Creme Concentre. This is amazing under makeup. It makes your skin just feel so comfortable, and um, it works well as a primer as well. I don't think it makes your makeup last longer, but it makes the makeup look nicer. And my last one that I love to use under makeup is the Recovery Balm by Monu. This is when my skin is, if you can see the lighting is very strong, there we go, the Monu Recovery Balm. I got this in my glossy box, glossy box and I actually really like it. It's basically just a balm and it says it's for all skin types and I do believe that. It's not very moisturizing, I use it when my skin isn't dry, when it's like looking its best and it's just, it feels very nourishing. So anyways, today my skin is alright, um, but I'm going to use Oilatum because it's kind of in the middle. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of Oilatum onto the back of my hand. And what I like to do is I like to apply it with my makeup brush. Now the reason for applying it with my makeup brush is so that my brush already has some product so that once I do apply my foundation, it's not going to cling on to as much foundation and absorb as much foundation so it's not wasting as much foundation. I'm just gonna buff that right in all over my skin and take that down your neck as well. So you can already see the glow that it gives my skin and that will show through the foundation, especially this foundation that I'm going to use because it is such light coverage. So I'm going to use the Makeup Face and Body Foundation. So you really have to make sure you shake this up well. And again, I'm going to apply this on the back of my hand, just a small amount because the way to get the most coverage out of this foundation is to apply light layers. So. I'll usually just apply one layer of this and I find it to be enough, but when I do want a bit of coverage, I'll apply a light layer and then wait for that to settle in a little bit and then I'll apply another one. Rather than just applying a whole bunch at the beginning, that's not exactly how you get to work this foundation to its fullest. Okay, so you can see there's not a great amount of coverage, but there is just that evening out and that bit of glow that I really like. Now, instead of applying another layer of foundation, I'm just going to go in with my concealer and conceal some areas. My chin gets a little red, so I'm just going to, I'm, I'm using my Eve Pearl Concealer in light. Now I'm going to conceal around my nose. and a little bit under my eyes. 
and I like to then just blend in my concealer with a very very light hand just going in with my foundation brush. Now you want to be very very light with this, you have to be very careful because you can just kind of blend off the concealer so just be very light just to blend the edges. And those are really the only areas I need to conceal. By the way I forgot to mention this is the buffing brush by Real Techniques. So now I'm going to set this all. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I have it in medium dark which is a bit dark for me but I have a bit of a tan so it's okay I can get away with it. And I'm using my MAC 150 brush because it has a bit of a pointy end there so that I can apply it on my cheeks to kind of contour a little bit. in through my temples and then I'm just gonna do a very light sweep through the center of my face to set that all and under my eyes now as for blush I really switch out my blush all the time but I'm just going to show you the blush that I mentioned in my best um, products video, just so that you can see how that works. And I'm going to use it with this Sephora airbrush brush, which is number 55. And this is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. But sometimes I'll go for a cream blush, sometimes I'll go for a powder, it really depends on the mood I'm in and on the eyeshadows that I'm wearing. So for every day I like to apply the blush to my apples of the cheek and then I bring it up to kind of create more of a chiseled look but again there's so many different looks it just depends what kind of um, face you have if you have more of a round face then you might want to do this bringing it all the way up if you have a more heart shaped face then you might want to just do the apples it just depends about your face shape and the look that you like as well. Um, now I don't always do this for my everyday routine, I think it's a little bit too much, but sometimes I'll take a contour powder, like this one by MAC and it's Strata, and I'll contour a little bit more. Um, but something that I do like to do every day is highlight. So I'm going to use my NARS Albatross just because I feel like using a powder, but for a great cream highlighter, I love this Makeup Forever Up Light one and I have it in number 12. This product is amazing and it lasts forever. But I'm just going to use this NARS highlighter and I'm going to use it on my MAC 133 brush, I think. It's just a really nice small tapered brush. And I'm going to highlight in a C motion. And really that's the look, that's it, it's quite simple. Sometimes I'll take the highlighter down my nose as well, down the bridge of my nose. Um, oh and sometimes if I want even more glow, I'll use my Fix Plus by MAC. So what I would do is just spray it from quite far away so that I get a very fine mist. And then sometimes I'll take my 187 by MAC just to help that absorb into the skin and even it out and that gives me an even more dewy finish okay well thank you very much for watching I hope you found this video helpful it is very good for dry skin it gives that really nice dewy look now if you do want a foundation routine for slightly more oily skin or just you want a more matte look then please request it and I'll try to do that for you or if you want more coverage as well but what I can say about people that have acne which I know a lot of people suffer from I think honestly this is a really good foundation for you because yes you'll have to apply a powder that is a bit better with oil control Control. But as for the coverage, usually what I find with people that have acne is that yes, they'll have those areas where they do have those red spots, but if you look at the rest of your skin, it's pretty much perfect. So a foundation like this would be great because it would give you much more natural airbrush look if you just apply a thin layer of this all over your skin. And then those areas that you do need to cover, take a more concentrated concealer that has a lot 
of coverage or a lot better coverage and you'll end up with a much more natural and flattering look rather than applying full co coverage all over your face where you just you look you it feels awful as well and you just look like you've just applied too much so i hope you found this helpful if you have any more requests please leave them below and if you want to keep updated on my newest videos then please subscribe thank you for watching